Hi, my name is Greg Eppel. I'm a solution architect specializing in Microsoft technology on Amazon Web Services. The topic of today's session is integrating Amazon Simple Email Service, otherwise known as SES, into your .NET application. I'd like to point out this video is not a deep dive into all the features and capabilities of Amazon Simple Email Service. This video will include a brief general overview, followed by a demo which will go over the installation of the NuGet packages and review specific steps to send email using Amazon SES in your .NET application. Lastly, we will review monitoring functionality available in SES. So why use Amazon SES? SES is a high performance platform with low latency and error rates that can send millions of emails. Amazon SES maintains a strong reputation with ISPs so that your emails are delivered to your recipient's inbox rather than their spam folder. Amazon SES integrates seamlessly with other AWS services, such as AWS Lambda, AWS CloudWatch, Amazon Kinesis Firehose, Amazon Simple Storage Service, and the Simple Notification Service. You can send emails using the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, otherwise known as SMTP, the Amazon SES API, or the Amazon SES console. SES also supports dedicated IP addresses, which are useful for high volume senders and allow for complete control over sender reputation. Lastly, SES provides functionality, functionality to monitor your sending activity. SES also supports dedicated IP addresses, which are useful for high volume senders and allows for complete control over sender reputation. Lastly, SES provides functionality to monitor your sending activity. Now let's go to the AWS Management Console and take a look at Amazon SES. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to Simple Email Service. Here, you'll see a landing page like this. Navigate to Email Addresses under Identity Management. Amazon SES requires that you verify identities from either the domains or email addresses you own to prevent unauthorized use. To verify a new email address, click the Verify a New Email Address button and enter your email. Shortly after, you should receive an email asking you to confirm the email address. So as you can see, here's the email I've received. Simply click the link in the email to complete the verification process. Now that we have authorized an email address, we need to generate SMTP credentials. Navigate to the SMTP settings page. Take note of the server name and ports and click the Create My SMTP Credential button to generate a set of credentials for sending emails. Please note, these credentials are not the same as your AWS Access Key ID and Secret Access Key. Do not attempt to use your AWS credentials to authenticate yourself against the SMTP endpoint. Now that we have verified an email, let's send an email to that email address in a .NET application. Here I have an ASP.NET MVC application with three fields, two subject and message with two buttons. The AWS SDK button will send the email using the SDK, while the SMTP interface button will send the email using the SMTP client class in C Sharp. Now, let's go to Visual Studio and take a look at the code that was used to send the email using the SDK. If you're going to send the email using the SDK, you will need to ensure that you have added the AWS SDK.SimpleEmail NuGet package. Right click on your application and click Manage NuGet Packages. In the search bar, search for AWS SDK.SimpleEmail and click Install. As you can see, I already have this package installed for this project. Now let's go back to Visual Studio and take a deeper dive into the code. First, we instantiate an Amazon Simple Email Service client and then a send email request object. We then specify the destination, message, including the body and subject, and finally the source, using the email address we previously verified. Lastly, we call the send email async method on the object we just instantiated to send our email. Now let's look at the code for sending an email using the SMTP interface. Instead of using the AWS SDK to send the email, you will use a SMTP address and port that you can find on the SMTP settings page on the Amazon SES console. Using the address, port, and SMTP credentials, 
I downloaded from the Amazon SES console, I am constructing an SMTP client object from .NET and the new mail message. To send the email in my .NET application, I pass the mail message object to the SMTP client send method. Now that I've shown you how to send an email in a .NET application, let's look at some of the monitoring functionality in the Amazon SES console. So here we are in my inbox, and as you can see, I've received my test email from my .NET application. Now that I've shown you how to send an email in a .NET application, let's look at some of the monitoring functionality in the Amazon SES console. Navigate to the sending statistics section and scroll down until you see several graphs. These graphs will show the number of emails delivered, rejected, bounced, and complaints. With these metrics, you can now segment your sending stats and publish them to CloudWatch or Kinesis Firehose. This will help you improve your deliverability. This concludes this presentation of integrating Amazon SES into your .NET application. Thank you for watching.